Hey guys, Arcade Adam back here with another video. I think a lot of you have been waiting for this one. I keep talking up Big Box on the forums, and this is going to be my Big Box theme video. So this is uh, another reason why I like Big Box over Hyperspin, is because the community has made these skins for Big Box. You can make it look like anything you want it to look like. You can try to impersonate coin ops, you can make it look like emulation station, you can make it look like hyperspin, it can be something completely different. So we're just going to run through a, a few of the more popular themes, the ones I've heard of. There's a lot more, you know, the themes manager says there's 20 of them out there, but there's actually a lot more in, in the community that you can install manually on the back end. So let's just jump right into it. This one is called Critical Zone. It's been out for a while. It's one of the first themes that Big Box launched. It didn't really launch with it. The community came up with it early on in its development, uh, as far as I know. And the point to this one was to just give it a different view where you can have different pieces of information moved around the screen. So in one of these skins, um, there's different views because you can see I'm switching uh, right, right now. You can have you know, your clear art on the left in a vertical list. You can have the same thing, but the themes in a much larger window. You can have the game themes full screen. Um, you can have a triple panel with, you know, a description type game metadata information kind of all spread out. Like the sky's the limit. So I'm switching through these different views. And the neat thing is Big Box remembers which view you have per playlist or system or category so you can have Sega Genesis be a certain view you can have Super Nintendo be another view and then you can have your main menu wheel be a third view and it remembers everything that you like and you prefer so when you go back to it it all looks the way you like it so this is now I switch to another view which is a horizontal scroll instead of a vertical or a wheel scroll so there's just a million options for each theme that then you can go in and tweak and make your own on top of that like i said the, the metadata on this specific view is highlighted on the right and it really gives you a lot of good information if you're the kind of person that wants to know the rating the description the metadata the publisher developer when it was released that kind of thing there's community voting systems in this uh, and ratings in big box uh, which is kind of cool so it just really highlights all the neat information you can have so you can go completely artwork and you know leave that stuff behind or you can have information overload like this screen uh, and have almost too much things on the screen it's it's all up to you it's your personal preference it's your machine you make your arcade look the way you want it um and here's another view i'm not exactly a fan of this cover flow you know kind of ripped from itunes back in the day but it does highlight the fan art, and that's another strength of Big Box, is the artwork that it downloads includes these backgrounds and these fan art um, things that the community has come up with. So as you switch, you can highlight one piece of artwork over another. Like this one switched the cover flow to the top, but it's the clear logo, so maybe you don't like that view. Now this one is a wall of clear logos with the fan art background. So if you're really into your fan art backgrounds that would be the view for you and then here's your traditional list um, it's just much more cluttered it doesn't highlight the artwork uh, now you turn your list back into clear logos but it's the same layout like I said sky's the limit tons of options on these things it's really really amazing what you can do and like I said I'm pushing a single button I'm just cycling through and it'll just keep going round and round and round so let's get out of critical zone. Let me show you how to do this. You go into manage themes. You can see, as you can see, I have five installed. Here are the ones that are available that I don't have installed. Let's go grab colorful. This is a newer theme. Um, this is one of those themes where it has a art pack associated with it that the author recommends. You don't have to grab his art. As you can see, there's, there's theme videos for the systems that he created that go along with the theme. But I'm gonna show you how you don't necessarily need that. It depends on the look that you want to achieve. So the default art pack still works with it fine, in my opinion. So I'm going through my main wheel. It's full screen video themes. It looks just fine. And now I switch the view. Now it's two thirds video theme, but now I've got some information. I've got how many games are in the wheel. 
are there multiple players and then it's telling me to hit A to enter it. So kind of cool, especially depending on your button layout and your arcade, are they labeled that way? So it kind of matches up for people who, you know, come over and they don't know what they're doing. This kind of guides them through how to navigate the arcade. So here's another view. Uh, I jumped into the game list itself and it adds a little bit more information on the game on the left hand side. So, you know, again, you switch through these views and you might stumble, you might not like your theme initially, but as you cycle through the views, you might find a, a view that you really like in that theme and it completely changes your mind on the whole theme because it's something, you know, aesthetically, it completely changes the way it looks. So within each theme, there's a million different looks you can achieve. All right, so we'll keep going through these. Um, there's another look, there's another view. I'll show a few more in colorful, and then I think we'll move on to another theme in a second here. But just wanted to stress that, you know, overall, a lot of these themes have a main primary color. The last one is green. This one kind of focuses more on white. Sometimes the view uh, is a little bit darker gray. Um, it really comes up to personal preference. Like, you can get these themes and try to match them to your cabinet artwork. So, anyway, let's grab, go back in the menu, grab another theme. Um, I'm just going to grab one at random. I'm not too familiar with all these because I kind of stick to my default uh, unified theme, which looks a lot like Hyperspin. But let's grab All Night Long. This one looks a little bit like um, Emulation Station. It looks like a horizontal scroll. Uh, and it's got heavily themed um, category images, it looks like. So we'll wait for this one to install. And once they're downloaded, all you do is just back out of the menu. And then, you know, it asks you, do you want to apply to all your other sub wheels and uh, once you back out you know as you can see the menu changes right away and now you're back on the main screen so it looks like it didn't have uh, default artwork for some of my categories that's why you see some of that artwork still looks you know like the original artwork I had and then there a lot of these other categories uh, are built into the theme so on a lot of these sometimes you might have to go back for Taito or Steam or PS3 it looks like and either create that artwork yourself or look in the community or the original author to see if he's posted uh, an updated version. Like, look, he had Wii, but not Wii U. So something to consider if you go through a heavily, heavily skinned uh, theme like this one. But it does look cool. I don't know about it from a functionality perspective. It's, um, I think, because it all looks the same at first glance, it'd be tough to navigate a little bit. But let's jump in and look at the uh, primary view for games. So, uh, looks like this one actually applies a scanline filter to the themes too. So, I don't know if you guys can see that too well in the video, but that's kind of cool. Uh, so we got a vertical scroll, here's a horizontal scroll, and then it transitions to the theme video, that's kind of cool. Move it up top a little bit. So this is a good example of a theme that has a lot of views. Some themes can have one or two, and some themes can have eight, nine, ten. I've seen tons. Well, here's your traditional list. Uh, that's not that bad. So if you're on a smaller screen and you like a lot of information, that looks like a good layout. You still get your uh, theme videos coming in. They pop in after a few seconds, it looks like. Yep. Oh, cool. So there's vertical scroll back with the themes. I think that has exhausted the different looks of this one. I'm going to back out to the main wheel. Alright, let's go grab another one. Let's see. How about... Um, let's do... Maybe City Hunter? Or Coin Ops? Let's do Coin Ops. So, I'm sure you guys have seen or, or messed around with Coin Ops. This uh, another heavily skinned view that comes on you know a lot of retro pie images and coin ops is a windows build itself um and they kind of came up with their own look so someone ported that look over to a theme uh for big box it's not coin ops itself it just looks like coin ops so we're going to apply that and we'll jump back in and now you've got your default list with text i do like coin ops because it simulates the cabinet and you if you don't have an active marquee like i do you get the virtual marquee up at the top. So it, once I jump into a game list here, you'll see as you scroll through the games, you've got the main theme uh, on the arcade screen. And then up top on the ar arcade marquee, you've got 
the actual marquee of the game, which is pretty cool. Um, and then that way you don't have to mess with, you know, the expense and the complexity of an active marquee and you still get the benefit. This would be especially beneficial for a vertical build. So if you had a 40 inch or 50 inch TV vertically, imagine having the cabinet almost full screen. And then that way you've got the theme full screen and the marquee up top full screen and you're just rocking one monitor. Simple setup, but you get the benefit of having all the artwork. All right, let's go grab another one because that one looks like it only had two views, so it wasn't very complicated. You get text or not. <laughs> so let's go, um, let's do uh, City Hunter. City Hunter 2. So yeah, the City Hunter was another one that uh, kind of was developed alongside Bitbox and came out a long time ago. And I think City Hunter 2 was a revision to that theme um, that came out recently, somewhat recently. Um, and we'll jump right in here. This one's a pretty cool. This one is a pretty heavy duty makeover. You've got a video background uh, playing in most of these views that don't have themes or the or the the view doesn't have a theme video, which is pretty cool. My only critique of this one is I'm not a fan of that primary font where it says like details and description. I don't know, maybe just me. I have trouble reading that. It looks weird. But uh, you can switch to some views where that's not in there anymore, or you can go in and kind of edit that. You could go into your XML file and edit that out and change that if you wanted to. Uh, kind of make it your own. Like I said, all these are completely editable. So if you know what you're doing with uh, artwork and XML files, you can make this your own, no problem. So switching views, we got a vertical list, uh, kind of like before with City Hunter, or, or Critical Zone, sorry. And uh, a lot of the same views, but just a different font and color scheme. Which is pretty cool. Like a lot of this highlights, like I was saying before, a different artwork and helps you find games in different ways. Like that one had the original poster art, it looks like, over on the left there towards the bottom. And here's your horizontal scroll. Yeah, I'm gonna have to play some of these games. I'm not familiar with some of these. <laughs> So a bit larger, clear logos at the bottom on your horizontal scroll. Get your description and metadata on the right. Uh, and here's your triple panel, just like before. So yeah, a lot of this shares a lot of the same views. It must be the same author, uh, theme author is Critical Zone. Uh, but like I said, this one has a video background, and that's another good point to bring up. Big Box is definitely more resource intensive. So if you have a slower or older computer, Big Box is going to struggle a little bit more compared to Hyperspin. But your themes really dictate its performance. There are a lot of themes made for Big Box specifically for uh, lower end or underpowered computers. So you can go find a theme that has some more basic elements but still looks cool, has a lot of these same views, but it'll work better for your computer. So, because, you know, with emulation, you don't have to go for the latest games. You don't have to run the Bleeding Edge Xbox and PS3 and Wii U and all that stuff. If you want to stick to MAME, I mean, you barely need more than a calculator to run MAME these days. Like, RetroPies are a perfect example of that. You can get a single board computer for 40 bucks, and it'll run almost everything in MAME. So, you don't need... You could use a 10-year-old computer and... Big Box is going to chug along on that, but if you choose the right theme, you could get it going pretty good. Um, this is not that theme, because like I said, it's got multiple videos going on at the same time, so choose wisely, <laughs> I guess is what I'm trying to say. But, and here I'm scrolling through letters, you can see again that you can favorite things and go through search. Um, actually, let's, uh, let's try some search here in a minute, why not? So if I wanted to find Vigilante... So you can do this with your joystick. You can move around on the joystick and grab your letters that way and hit select. Or like I just did, I use my keyboard. And there you go. There's Vigilante. So it's uh, the search it happens within your category. So if you're on the main wheel, it searches everything. But if you're within the beat-em-ups like we were just in, it searches just the beat-em-ups. So it's, it's wheel contextual. It, it only searches where you are. Um... <clears throat> not a fan of that look. Oh, that's better. That's nice. Got the video on top, some details on bottom. There's some full screen theme videos. That's a good look for the, the main wheel. 
<laughs> Some of these uh, theme uh, videos are just awesome. Whoever made these, pat yourself on the back. I mean, I, I could switch out these different uh, theme videos all day. There's so many good ones. Um, and I, like I said, this is all stock LaunchBox um, artwork. Um, I don't go out there and replace things manually usually, unless you know I'm not really a big fan of what downloads, but very rarely would I go through that extra effort. This is just coming from LaunchBox. I do have a subscription to Emu Movies, and I have you know you can sign in with that in LaunchBox, and it automatically gets those videos. But I rarely go in there and, and grab specific artwork to replace that. All right, let's go try another one. What should we try this time? Uh, Unified uh, is a theme that I use as my main. Uh, I think it looks a lot like Hyperspin, and it has a lot of it retains all the cool features. So I usually leave my main theme artwork full screen, and then I have the wheel on the right, just like Hyperspin. Uh, I have it fade out. Um, and you can change views so you can see how there's the original poster art. And if I hit change view again, uh, if you're in a CD-based console and you have the CD artwork, you can make it spin and it looks kind of cool. So like for PS3 or Dreamcast or something, you'll get a picture of the CD, the original game CD, and it spins. Just kind of a neat effect. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm a fan of full screen themes because these themes are so cool and they kind of take over the whole arcade and change the way it looks. And I have the active marquee, so that changes the way the cabinet looks. So you can kind of make the whole thing look like the original game. And that, that's my preference. Here's Unified with the list view. And then we're back to scrolling wheel on the right. Uh, but we have the artwork and the theme video smaller in a, in a window. And uh, I think that was about it for the, all of the different views on Unified. Well, guys, that's about all I had planned to go over. Uh, we already did coin ops, so like you can see in the list, there's lots more. Um, they all have different looks. You can kind of browse them a little bit better in the LaunchBox forums. And the LaunchBox forums are free to join. You don't need to buy anything to go in there. So just if you're interested at all, I recommend going there, make an account. It's free jump in there, ask some questions, look at the download section. These themes have great pages with video previews. They link their artwork packages that they recommend. But you, like you see in Big Box, you can do a lot of this too. You can you know, uninstall it, there's a description, there's views, there's requirements. Some of them need specific, uh, specific versions of Big Box and different repositories and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I highly recommend it. Check it out. Uh, Big Box is not free. It's uh, you know a paid application but it's it's you know not a ton of money it's cheap i want to say if it goes on sale you can get a forever license for forty dollars i've seen it down to but i think regular 60 don't quote me on that but that's you know it's under 100 bucks and for making your whole arcade look amazing with the access to this artwork and metadata and fan art totally worth it in my opinion anyway that's it for me as usual like subscribe comment button down below if you got any questions try to help you guys out and uh, thanks for watching.